for a, a young teenager, it hit every single corner. I was born in 83. I was, I was interested in music at like a really, really early age. There was an era of MTV in the early 90s where it was like, I felt like there was maybe like eight music videos, but they were all really exciting. And one of those music videos was uh, Even Flow from Pearl Jam, um, which I think was their first music video, I want to say. And there's a scene where Eddie Vedder climbs up on the high thing and jumps into the crowd. And I remember just being so like, I don't even know or understand what this is, but I want to do that. And somehow, I forget who introduced me to it, but I got Punk and Drublick from NoFX. I think it might have been the same year, maybe a year after. I can't remember if it's 94 or 95. As soon as I found NoFX, I was like, oh, this is like real punk. Like Green Day is punk, fine, especially that time. But when I got Punk and Drublick, it was like I learned instantly like, you know, it's, it's cooler to not be on MTV. It's cool, you know, like I got that attitude at, at whatever age that was, uh, you know, I was like 12. Punk and Drublick came to me at the perfect time because it was faster. There's angry songs on it, like actually like very angry songs on it. But then there's also like dick and fart jokes throughout the whole thing. So for a, a young teenager, it hit every single corner. And I think that's probably why people, whether they'll say that's the reason why or not, is the reason that record is so uh, like storied, you know? Like that's most kids, I would assume, um, gateway to no effects is like that Punk and Drublick record. Um, they have great records before it, but that's the one. It sounds the best. Um, it great al album artwork, like everything about it, just just rules. But yeah, I mean, it's it's angry, it's political, it's funny, it's got everything. <laughs>